time. <coughs> That's a good intro for my no video week. Um, that's just because I was running short of ideas. I pre-record all of my videos before I post them, like everyone does, but, like, you don't know how much I have. Uh, <clears throat> I've been pre-recording for about six months, and I ran out of ideas. So, I asked a few of my friends, I went ahead and picked up some games, and really nothing seemed to work. Um, so I'd like you guys... Write in the comments below um, what game you want me to play. I will uh, check out the game. If I think it's cool, I'll go buy it. Um, if you say Kingdom Hearts, I will not get it. No, it's too long of a game, and the plot line um, is really good, though. Um, truthfully, I play Kingdom Hearts a lot. I beat the game. It's just that I don't. It took me so many days, hours. It's a really long game. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I decided to do a review on Pokemon White 2 and Black 2. And you're like, seriously? This guy's doing a review on that. And by the way, I messed this up. They should be fighting each other because they're the same person. And psychopaths are awesome. Dun dun dun! Never mind that. Um, so. Um, okay, let's start, my mom's talking in the background, so let's continue with the vid. Um, so let's start off with the genericness and unoriginalness of this game. This is virtually the same game as Heart 1, but they're totally different plotline for Team Plasma. For some reason, from being frantical nuns slash medieval people, they become pirates. Not that kind of pirate. A robotic pirate. So basically, the plot of Team Plasma is terrible so far. Um, this game's plot um, is basically every Pokemon game's plot. Be a gym leaders get to the um, Elite Four, and after the game, you can get some legendaries. Well, I want something new. Um, this game really did not provide that, but it did provide a very long game. I believe I spent about 300 hours on each one. Uh, and that was just to um, do some cool stuff with the Pokédex. Uh, I'm, like, completing it. Uh, I did not catch the legendaries right away. Uh, I waited a bit. So, um... Uh, this game will provide you a lot of time and a lot of fun. No matter how old you... And I can't say that just in case you're, like, 40 and you're, like... I don't like Pokemon. I'm going to press like a million dislikes on this video. So, basically, I'll provide you with a lot of fun, a, a lot of time. So, the plot starts out with you being in a new city, which was just built in the two-year period, called Spurdia City. You are currently in a place where you are really just stuck at your house. Thank God we're not stuck in a van. <sighs> A.K.A. Pokemon Emerald. Why? Just why? Is Pokemon trying to promote kidnapping or something? It means at least six Pokemon from the first generation, not even counting the others, have the thing. This Pokemon kidnaps children. This Pokemon kidnaps adults. Pokemon has a fanatic thing on that. So... Basically, you are not kidnapped, and you're at home. Playing on your Wii, as always, I probably do that a lot uh, with my friends. Um, so basically, start the game with your mom. Yes, your mom. So your mom takes, goes on an adventure. She defeats all of the gym leaders, gets cooking badges, and then she makes an awesome treat for you, and yeah, whatever. <laughs> um... So basically she asks you, do you want a Pokemon? Do you want a Pokedex? Do you want to go on this adventure of a lifetime? When you've been playing this adventure for almost, how long? 15 years? 16? 18? I'm not sure. So basically the plot does not change at all. So then you pretty much go on this adventure with Bianca. Truthfully, I like when you get to pick. It's because there's a few Pokemon games like Pokemon Coliseum, the one with uh, Umbreon and Espeon, where you cannot pick. 
the Pokemon you want to do, and you can only catch trainer's Pokemon, which is terrible. I did not like that game just because I wanted to catch some wild Pokemon. I wanted to catch shiny Pokemon. There weren't anything cool. There w did they say weren't anything cool? My grammar is terrible. Um, there wasn't anything cool in that game in catching things. Suicune, Raikou, Entei, pretty cool. But seriously, I would rather catch them in the wild. Um, so, this game, unfortunately, does not have as many legendaries as Pokemon Black. But, um, black and white, sorry. Um, but has many more events. Like the Keldeo event, and the more known one, the Genesect event. And there's a new event coming up for this game called the Meloetta event. Starting in, I think, March 5th to 23rd? I'm not sure yet. Um, I, this is from Pokey Beach. I don't really remember, and I don't have a computer right next to me. So I can't check it up right now. So, basically... This game has a lot of legendaries and a lot of time to catch them. The most hardest legendaries to catch is probably the Reggies. They're, it took me hours, and I mean hours means it took me hours to catch each one of them. They're pain altogether, and Reggie Gigas, I didn't really want to waste time. I threw a Master Ball. I don't feel bad about that. Yeah. Um, so... Basically, this game has a lot of tough-to-catch legendaries, like Azelf, which is going to be so worth it in the long run. You've seen my Azelf before. It's awesome. It knows a lot of awesome moves, and it's shiny. It's a shiny Azelf. What do you think of me now, huh? Well, so, this game has a lot of stuff, like the first gym leader being your old rival, Jared! Oh my god, it's so awesome, right? Well, no. <laughs> um... Unfortunately, he doesn't have his old awesome Pokemon like his, uh, I, I was playing, uh, with an Ember, like his Samurott, like his, um, Simiseer, like all of his awesome stuff. He leads a Lillipop. It means the stars is Lillipop. And in challenge mode, the stars is Pit of. Um, truthfully, I played the, both of these games in challenge and normal mode, and he is t Terrible both ways. He isn't terrible. He will give you a challenge in challenge mode if you don't have Ryulu. But the thing is that he's just terrible in the choice thing. He shouldn't even be a gym leader. He should be your rival. I mean, have you seen Hugh? By the way, Hugh is our new rival. It's terrible. So, <clears throat> I will read this game in a little bit. The next gym leader is Roxy Berg. Then we go to Elisa. <sighs> So much trouble. Clay, which was, in my opinion, the easiest, just because my team was formed in a way where rock types were not a problem. Um, so then we have Clay, uh, uh, Skylar. I just, you, you could hear by the tone of my voice. I hate Skylar. I hate what she stands for. I hate her in the show. I don't watch the show. I just watch one episode of, of Pokemon Black 2, and she was just weird. She didn't want to fight anyone. It, it was just strange. And, like, this entire thing is just annoying that she does not want to do anything about it. It's just irritating. So, um, Skyla, then we go to Drayden, which surprisingly was easy once you get a Kabalion. I don't know why. And then Marilon. Um, Mar Marlon. Ma I, I give up. Mar I'm going to call him... Um, Marilon, yeah. I'm, I, there isn't an I, but I'm just going to say that. Marlon. I should really check up the definition of that. I mean, the pronunciation. So, Marilon um, is actually a good challenge if you don't have a lightning-type Pokemon. Fortunately, I do. My little, um, what was it? I, I totally forgot. So, then you go to the lead four, which is same old, same old. Except for a new champion, which is Iris. She learns a couple of Pokemon, which might give you a bit of a challenge. <coughs> but the thing that everyone will fight, which will be a challenge, is her Haxorus. Um, the other one will be a Hydreigon. Her Hydreigon isn't necessarily, str necessarily strong. It's just annoying. It, it has every move you wish it would not have. Like... You would think that it's outside of a fighting type. It's going to be so effective. Well, um, guess what? It has a counter for that. I'm going to send another psychic type. Oh, wait, it's for dark. I'm going to send out something else. Guess what? It's flamethrower. This thing will just wreck your team. 
just because it feels like it. But unfortunately, it's too weak to do anything about it. So you can one shot it anytime with Sacred Sword, close combat, anything, literally. It isn't a problem. So, basically, once you beat Iris, you can continue with the game. You then start back at Asperdia C, and then the first thing uh, you're expected to do is go ahead to Undela Town Bay. Uh, no, it's Undela Town. What am I talking about? Um, and you think I have to visit the Abyssal Ruins, but there's your old rival there. Now, I did this first just because I felt like I had my Pokemon were too overleveled. Why do I train my Pokemon so hard? So, um, he is pretty easy if you have overleveled Pokemon. Then, I recommend if you've beaten him without any problems, like, you don't have to heal or anything, you take on Cynthia. And, usually I'm going to get so many dislikes for saying, you should take on Cynthia, just let her fight to you. The difference is big. She's level 70s, he's level 60s. Ah, uh, I had pretty good luck with her. I had level 72, so it was pretty darn easy to beat her, so... Um, her guard champ was a wrecker. But, the good for me, I did have a Braviary. Just kidding. I'm not Maryland. Um, I did have some other Pokemon. Um, that resisted. So, uh, it was pretty easy to take him on. Uh, her. So, you do get a rematch with the Elite Four, which I suggest you do. But then I finally found out you were supposed to take on Alder. I totally forgot about that. Alder runs the same Pokemon he uses before in the first game. So, basically, he won't be a challenge if you know what he's going to use. So, fortunately for me, I did have a Golduck on my team at that point. So, his Volcarona was no problem at all. It was just like, no, I'm not going to let you win. Nope. So, um, this game is full of surprises. Um, I do recommend you pick up an Azelf, though. I really recommend that. You can go fight and once every season. And basically, he isn't as tough as you think he is. So, I definitely recommend that you go pick up this game. This game, I, I rate 8.7 out of 10. Um, that's just because of the unoriginality and, well, they did well on the artwork, though. The 3D artwork was great and everything. And, I haven't even hit the worst part of it. The Plasma Frigate, they put a part of the game. You just have to climb actually fight N in the first game, and you're like, oh, it's so awesome, since you actually like N. He's awesome. In the first game, of course. Uh, in the second game, he kind of doesn't do anything. He just says, good job, good job, and then gives you his um, Zekrom. So basically, it's like, good job, good job, use the Zekrom. So um, basically, rest around for a too, but like, he's not as involved. So, but in this one, you know who you're fighting, you know you're fighting Getsus, and you know he's going to be weak. So, you can easily destroy him. His Pokemon are much weaker than the first game. The first game, he was really tough, with his Hydrogen bashing everyone. But if you have no trouble with Iris, it means if you beat him, you'll have no trouble with the Iris's um, Hydrogen. And if you beat his Copa Grigas very easily, Chantal won't be a problem. Is because Chantal I've not found that hardened Pokemon like to. Black she was torture! Torture! Ah. Uh, so basically, I read this game at uh, eight, an 8 point. Did I say 7 or 5? I'll give it an 8.7 uh, out of 10. So. Basically, this review was just because I felt bad for not posting anything. Um, there's really nothing left to do in the game other than catch legendary Pokemon. Um, I'm pretty sure that I've caught all of them. Um, oh, yeah, another thing. There, there's a Pokemon Transfer Lab. It's the same thing. You should know where it is. Um, unless you transfer Pokemon from other versions, it's pretty simple. And um, same thing, you need eight badges. And I don't know how I could have gotten there without any badges, but still, it's a pretty awesome game. So just to pick it up, I am currently just having fun with it. And um, the final thing before I go is the nature preserve. This preserve I will actually show you on camera um, later on. You catch a shiny Haxorus there. 
which, wow, they give you your first shiny, aka Gyarados. Huh. Um, so, you, the thing with the Nature Preserve, it's a letdown. You fight the Haxorus, and then there's nothing left. No Pokemon that you can fight. Nothing whatsoever. It's just like, okay, here you go. Here's an Asterisk. Good job for uh, finding all of them. What, you want more? Sorry. What's your Haxorus? Truthfully, I would like tougher trainers. The trainers are too weak in this game, and that's why I'm giving it an 8.7. Um, and basically, after that, I'm basically rambling on about why I gave it an 8.7. You virtually have to collect, um, collect all of them to get a round term, which helps you get more eggs from the Pokemon breeder if you're into breeding. Um, unfortunately, I am actually into breeding, but it took me forever to get all of them. Such the shiny charm took me months to get them. Um, all the 600 Pokemon, or I'm not even sure how many. I'm pretty sure it's 647 or something. So it took me months to, to collect all of them. So, um, I think the month was, it was pretty fun. Uh, I had to collect them from other versions. So it was really fun to do all of that. I'm still playing on my Platinum version looking for some more Pokemon to complete my Platinum National decks. Uh, of course I could trade some in, but I, um, Platinum I never seem to finish. It's weird. Um, so thank you for watching everybody. Um... Please subscribe, like, comment, or press like. And I suggest you do buy this game. Um, both of them are the exact same game. With different climaxes and stuff like that. So, definitely pick it up. It's worth your time and money. Next, what will be up next? <coughs> Mortal <coughs> Kombat. <coughs> there was no spoilers in there. Oh, and this, game, this review is full of spoilers. Sure told you that in the beginning. Sorry. Bye.